While temperatures drop big time on Sunday night, a red hue will drop over the full moon. And here to talk more about this year's lunar eclipse is meteorologist Chris Michael. So Chris, can, can, will we be able to see this? Yeah, absolutely. And especially if the sky can clear out in time. Now, some people are calling this a super blood wolf moon, which I laughed the first time I heard that. But there's an actual explanation for that. Super refers to the fact that the moon is going to be at its closest point to Earth in orbit, so it's going to look bigger. Blood refers to the red hue during the lunar eclipse, and wolf is just the name given to a full moon in January. So the reason why there's going to be a lunar eclipse is the Earth is basically going to be sandwiched in between the sun and the moon. So the Earth's shadow is going to cause that red color over the moon. So when does that happen? Starts happening Sunday night around 1030 when temperatures are around 21 with a partly cloudy sky. Lunar eclipse will take on its full what we call totality around 1140 at night. What's different from the solar eclipse is that totality lasts about an hour. So if you don't see it at 1140, check over the next hour while temperatures are around 19 degrees. And then as we head closer to say 150 AM is when we start to see the lunar eclipse coming to an end. So let us know if you can see it. Be sure to take your pictures or send us your reports to our WSLS Facebook page. We'll have more details as well on WSLS.com. In the Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels, 10 News, working for you.